Hi, this is Bill Johnston with Kansas Corn. I would bet that if I ask you to list all of the things that you could think of that you that we use water for, I bet you could come up with a long list. And I bet every single one of you would list some of the same things like drinking and bathing, and swimming, fishing. Well, I hope you would list to help plants grow also. I know every farmer would have that on their list. And in a lot of the United States, they rely on nature to provide that water through rain. But in some places in Kansas and other locations, nature doesn't provide enough. So they rely on irrigation systems, much like this one right here, to provide enough water for their plants to grow and be healthy. And farmers understand that they are responsible for using this natural resource of water carefully. See, water is like a lot of natural resources. It's, it's a balance of, of the farmer trying to get the most out of a natural resource, yet preserving it so it's available for future generations. And the way they do that is through all kinds of technology and practices to conserve and protect that water. One of those tools that we use is called a soil moisture probe. It's a tool that they stick in the ground and it senses how much moisture is there. And based on that, the farmer knows when to water and how much water to use. Farmers don't just randomly turn the irrigation system on. The amount of sun and the amount of wind can affect the evaporation and change how often they have to water. Well, that soil probe helps them figure out how much moisture is in the soil and if they need to water. Another tool we use is aerial thermal imaging. You know, we can do that using a drone or satellites that hover above the earth or above the land and take images, kind of like pictures, of the land. But it picks up on the amount of heat in that land and it does a thermal image. And the farmer can look at that and based on the colors of those images, determine what parts of the field are cooler and warmer, meaning which part of the fields need water and which part of the fields don't need water. And aerial thermal imaging leads right into the next technology that I want to mention. It's called variable rate technology. Variable rate means that they don't put the same amount of water over the entire field. They vary the amount of water based on the needs of that particular area. And another cool thing is pivot monitoring. See, using all that technology and controlling it from your phone. And now it is a very common practice for a farmer to hire a consultant. See, someone with expertise in, and knowledge about plant health and about irrigation systems. And they rely on that consultant to give them good information to use as they irrigate. Every farmer would also want you to know that all the answers are not in technology and scientific advancements. It's also about them getting boots on the ground, getting out of their truck, getting out of their tractor and walking across the field using their experience, their knowledge and their willingness to do hard work to make sure that they conserve that water that is so vital to their existence. You know, there are a lot of different kinds of irrigation systems that are used across the United States and in the world, but in Kansas, by far, the most common system is called a center pivot irrigation system. With the center pivot, it's named that for a pretty simple reason, up this center, the water is pumped into this irrigation system, and this irrigation system pivots in a huge circle around this center.
And by the way, we were talking about technology used in irrigation. Well, right here on this control panel, let me pick out a few key words. Equipped with satellite technology, remote monitoring, telephone control, internet reporting, precision management, stuff that we use regularly in the use of water.